Hey all you whiskey lovers, there's a lot of whiskey out there. And have you ever wondered, well, how many distilleries are out there in the world? Well, forget the world, maybe just in Scotland because they have so many whiskeys and there's so many distilleries out there. Well, let's dive into it. Grab a glass. So Scotland is roughly 30,000 square miles and roughly 78,000 square kilometers big. That's not a very big country and it's not a lot of land to be producing so much whiskey. Now we've all heard these stories of, hey, Scotland has something like 22 million casks in maturation and they're not just all 200 liter casks, some of them are bigger. It really makes you wonder, hey, how many distilleries are there and do they ever stop producing anything? Probably not, because if you take all of these casks and lay them up side by side by side by side, what you're going to find is you're going to have over 450,000 kilometers of space between barrel one and barrel last and continuing. That's enough to go around the world 11 times. And I think this is only going to become 12, 13, 14, 15, because it doesn't look like it's at any kind of point to stop anytime soon. It's good for all our whiskey fans. 53 bottles are actually shipped from Scotland to different markets in the world, over 180 different markets, every second. So in the time it took me to make that pause, another 160, maybe 150, give or take, I don't know how many seconds, but bottles were released. By the time you finish this video, thousands of bottles would be shipped from place A to place B, and well, place A is Scotland, place B is maybe your hometown, but that's a lot of whiskey. So who's contributing to it? How many distilleries and how big of an impact do they play? Less than I thought. I mean, at the beginning, I thought it's gonna be a huge, unbelievable number, but actually roughly and based off of October of 2023, it's when I'm making this video, there was only 147 distilleries in Scotland. These distilleries are making single malt scotch, multi-grain uh, multi whiskeys, you name it, experimental stuff, everything and in between. But there's only 147 right now. I put so much emphasis on right now and telling you it's October 2023 because this stuff changes a lot. If you check this video out in a year from now, who knows, we might have gone down in distilleries or you might have gone up. That's because somewhere in the realm of 77% of the distilleries in Scotland right now are new distilleries, 77%. And what do I define as new? They've only been around for around 13 years, uh, so founded in 2010 or newer. Where do these distilleries pop up? Where can you find them most often? There are five kind of well-known documented Scotch whiskey zones. Uh, the first one being the Highlands, uh, it's gonna be here on the map. And there you have roughly 47 distilleries, again, at this time. Now these distilleries are actually open for you to visit and check out. However, there are more distilleries that just produce kind of more products just to be blended and mixed with other whiskeys. You cannot have the Highlands without having the Lowlands. And the Lowlands have roughly in the ballpark of 17 kind of larger distilleries currently active and running. Lowlands are typically known for their kind of more lighter, sweet and floral tasting whiskeys versus Highlands and Speysides give kind of a different, let's say, mix of aromas and flavors. As you can imagine, each region that we're gonna cover right now has quite their own distinct flavors. And no matter if a new distillery comes or a distillery that's been around for a while goes, this flavor has really stayed true to the region. Now, I kind of said it earlier, but probably should have kept it. Uh, Space Side is the, probably the most well-known uh, local area that you're gonna find for whiskeys. Maybe after the next, or let's say, yeah, the fourth category, but Space Side is also very known for their flavors, very long aging, great blending, and very good cast selection. Uh, space side whiskeys at the moment are roughly 50. However, I think there's actually a lot more. Then of course, we have all the smoky whiskey fans out there's favorites, the uh, Islas. And Isla is again, kind of like the islands on the west side. You can see it there. And it's very, again, specific in the flavors and the aromas that it puts out there. 
It's a very peat forward, uh, which gives you the smoky, the iodine, the uh, kind of heavier notes that you that you kind of associate with Scotch whiskey. And many people which are new into whiskey and they like the smoky flavor, they might think that this is just Scotch. But of course, there are the other three te uh, territories that we mentioned. And of course, last but not least, the smallest region is Campbelltown. Now, Campbelltown is quite interesting because at one point there was a lot of distilleries in Campbelltown. It was one of the major ports in Scotland and that meant a lot of trade was coming in and out. There is a huge list of distilleries which have closed over the years, been bought out, changed names. But at the moment, the ones which are still around producing the most spirits that you can still get your hands on are just three. Of course, you have Springbank, Glengyle, and Glen Scotia, which is actually a good transition to what I'm drinking today. So this here is the Victoria version of Glen Scotia. And uh, particularly, uh, I like the Victoria because A, I, I'm a sucker for a good whiskey story. And this here is marketed as a modern interpretation of a classic Victorian style Campbelltown malt whiskey. And I have to say, for me, it does taste different. And I really like how this tastes and what it tastes like for a whiskey. So at the moment, as of October 2023, we have 147 actively running distilleries. Probably by the time you see this video, even one month later, that number is inaccurate. But it is interesting to note that 150 distillery mark has been around for a long time. With that, I'll let you get into your glass. Cheers to you, your glass of whiskey, maybe a scotch. Bye now.